What is up guys, Andy Forrestine Money here and welcome back to another video and this video kickstarts the London Marathon Training Series. 13 weeks to go as of this week and I'm going to be taking you guys along the journey through training, through tune-up races and of course to the big day. So my goal for this training series is to be as clear and concise as possible whilst taking you guys along the journey with me to London Marathon training, racing, and then of course the big day itself. So we're kickstarting things today on a Tuesday and that is because yesterday we had a 10K race. So if you missed that full video, you can go and check that out on the channel. I'll try and make sure I remember to link it up there or there or at the end screen, whatever it might be. But today is Tuesday. And uh, as I said, today is an easy run day. Now I will share more information on my structure and my training plan over the coming weeks or hopefully in the next couple of weeks. In terms of layout, the days that I'm doing certain things on Monday will be more of a marathon specific day. But of course, kickstarting this week with a race just had to be done. Good fun. So we're rolling into today, nice and relaxed, nice and easy. Easy trails out here. I'll throw the stats on screen and uh, I'll catch up with you tomorrow and we have a double day. Lovely stuff, working completely by effort this morning. 6.07 per mile, bore <laughs> to my side. Uh, yeah, 6.07 per mile, uh, much slower than what I was doing my uh, five by six minute efforts at around the 5.40s, 5.50s, but uh, just, uh, I don't usually, but keeping an eye on heart rate there on that one and uh, yeah, hanging around the, the mid 150s. So that's cool, um, because if I was working in the 160s where I normally would work uh, and hit that pace, I would maybe abandon the session. But the effort reflects the pace and I'm happy with that today. Race two days ago, no heroes, remember, no heroes. So yeah, one more minute to go and we're rolling to number two. There we go, just coming off the back of the second rep. Nice and calm, nice and controlled. 6.07 pace again. I've, uh, I'm leaving heart rate on, I've decided. I don't ever do that, but I wanna see if this effort reflects what my heart rate is. It's warm this morning, so I'm trying to take my own advice. I raced 36 hours ago um, and it's hot. Two weeks ago, I did a double threshold session in this type of weather, went to the well in the morning, and buggered up the evening session, so doing completely the opposite this morning. Keeping calm this morning and uh, saving a bit for tonight. So, be interesting to see the average heart rate of this one. Should be in the 150s. Wonderful stuff. So, 5.58 pace for that last one. Put the hammer down a little bit, but kept it very much in control. Average heart rate, 153. Wow, nuts. I mean, it felt comfortable, but that, that really does show that I took my foot off the gas a bit there. And that's fine, as I said, race 
36 hours ago. Uh, got another workout tonight on the double threshold. Really didn't want to have a repeat of two weeks ago where I went out way too hard in the morning. Um, so yeah, max heart rate was 168. I don't know if you could gather it by the camera, but this route is up, down, there's a peak in the middle. And from this end, it's four minutes all the way uphill and then it flattens off. And the other end, it's flat for like five and a half minutes, a little up and a longer down. So one and three are easier than number two. Um, so yeah, overall, really, really happy with that. Can't complain, humidity, Wow, it is hot this morning, but uh, got it done. Really happy with that. I'll see you tonight. Just like that, it's the evening. So we're here on Wednesday evening and I'm actually just off the track from Mallard Pike. So for any locals that know this area, this track just here takes you down to Mallard Pike. I'm literally on a connection point to the cycle track. So let me explain what tonight is all about. So this morning was very relaxed and that went really well, really happy with that. So tonight, as with all my double threshold sessions, the evening session is a bit more intense. Um, we'll see how tonight goes. My plan of attack, and I'm going to explain this more when I do do that London Marathon training uh, plan video and explain. It's the first part of these evening workouts. I'm not necessarily going to stick to the flat. I will on some occasions, but on some of them, I'm going to utilize the hills to my benefit, just like I did in this speed block. Don't know if you remember, but in the first part of this speed block, for the first five weeks, I was doing trail fartlek runs. Uh, so build on the strength to work on that. And then from there, I took it to the flat for the last six seven weeks and that's kind of what I'm going to be doing for the first four to five weeks of this training block for London getting back on the hills building the strength so tonight's workout is 12 by 2 minutes and we're going to be starting at this base track here just over there and we're going to be shooting up the cycle track so 12 by two minutes with one minute recovery, 36 minutes in total, 24 minutes worth of work. So my goal is we're gonna be going uphill for the first six, turn around and come downhill. Well, the reality is actually, it's probably gonna be uphill for the first three and a half, and then flat and a little bit up again, turn around and then put the hammer down on the way back. So just need to be calm, careful today, and see how we go. Feeling a bit tired, a bit fatigued uh, from Monday night's race. So I'm just gonna go on effort tonight. And if it ends up being like it was this morning, then I will happily bank two sub threshold sessions. So that's the waffle out of the way. Let's crack on with this. Oh, and by the way, look at the size of these ferns. I'm six foot six and these things match me. Here we go. myself a bit. I was 540s and 550s pace up the hill. Got four of them done. Fourth one was brutal because I had a shorter steeper incline at the end. And the last couple, well the fifth one was 530 low I think. The uh, sixth one I just lost GPS so that came up. Went from 528 to 544 in a heartbeat. So that's the heart, heart bit done. I have to turn around and do six down. absolute sweat fest but got it done and do you know what that was really good I felt really good average heart rate and that was 157 157 max was 176 I think that was clocked uh, going up the big hill on the number four but um yeah just pushed just pushed and worked uh, thought fatigue was going to get in the way tonight felt a bit sluggish on the warm-up but legs responded really well really happy with that five 
by 30s on the first two turning around coming back because they were more flat than down and then the last four I think they were all 520s one might have even been a 15 that number eight where I came down the steep a bit and rep four would have been up the steep a bit so yeah wow um to do that on the trails and feel as strong as I did is is a bit speechless to be honest with you but that's fine that's good week one double threshold banked happy with that two miles cool down to do that'll be 19 miles of the day rest day tomorrow back at it Friday so welcome to Friday a very relaxed day of the week a little bit like Tuesday just taking it nice and easy here out on the trails so not too much to talk about today other than obviously I'm getting an hour's easy done but what I thought I would just quickly explain is my mentality of the week in terms of where I'm pushing and where I'm holding because I think it's important for me to explain this normally I think in a training block Monday to Sunday is my week um, but during London what I'm actually going to be doing and what I adopted the thinking of during the last speed block is that during a five day period Saturday Monday and Wednesday those three days I've got three bouts of significant runs one being duration and two being intensity so my long run is Saturday and then Monday session Wednesday double session so how I'm trying to think of it as is that's the bulk of my week right there and then Thursday and Friday are very much rest and recovery days to allow me to go again so I'm not thinking to myself I'm going to get Saturday complete get the long run done and then go out there have a rest on Sunday and start the week all over again I'm trying to shift things back two days and almost think my week starts on Saturday um, but that's only in terms of kind of duration and intensity but they're the key runs week in week out so I have to respect those and with that in mind take Thursday's rest day nice and relaxed and take Friday's run also very very relaxed so that's my thought process and it's that's how it's going to be week in week out obviously summer holidays coming up so routine will get mixed around but uh, for these weeks that I can stick to this routine that's how I'm thinking so one hour today nice and easy nice and relaxed I'll see you tomorrow So welcome to Saturday and welcome to the moderate long run day and before we get too far into this I have a classic case of fatigue to show you so I talked about fatigue on the uh, on the last couple of videos especially in the marathon tips videos and um, I got out the door this morning and the legs just felt really weak they do now um, and then I thought to myself yep this is what you've been saying all week back off back off back off the heat is there we cannot expect to go out in the heat and uh, do what we normally do so I was thinking to myself man I'm sweating buckets after two miles already um, but what's my effort how am I feeling my effort is quite low uh, I've only just crept into the 140s and a minute ago I was in the 130s it was gone up because I'm talking now but uh, effort was reflecting the pace so the pace for the first two miles was 7.13 a mile which I'm normally late sixes for moderate so I was basically thinking to myself if my paces are slow and I feel fatigued how's my effort but my effort is low as well so my effort matches the pace it's just my legs that are fatigued does that make sense so if my effort was high and my pace was slow then there's something wrong I'm um, maybe coming down with an illness or the heat really is affecting me but the effort reflects the pace the heart rate reflects the pace so I just have a classic case of tired legs and uh, today I've just got to respect that so no heroes this is week one I'm going out there I'm hitting the hilly route uh, which may come back to bite me but we'll see how we go I've told myself get up the first big hill and if the legs go to jelly turn around and just do the cycle track loop so uh, that's my bargain with myself
Okay, so what I've decided to do is uh, just coming up to seven, well, seven miles right now and 50 minutes and 40 seconds. So um, my current average pace is 7.13 per mile. And normally when I'm up here, I'm running at this point 6.50s, 6.40s. But, uh, you know, you just got to accept on these days sometimes the legs just don't want to play ball, but the mind is willing and I'm, I'm enjoying myself, but the legs don't want to move. So that's fine. I've banked a really good week. So today, switch the mentality. It's all about time on feet. I actually got out the door at quarter to seven uh, to try and beat the heat this morning. It is hot. I've even brought water with me, uh, electrolyte fluid. It's in my belt. I've already had some. I'm also having a gel. I wouldn't normally, but I can't take any risks. Uh, today I just can't take any risks. I don't want to bonk away from home, especially with tired legs. So time on feet today, that's what it's all about. Effort, heart rate <laughs> is amazing. I'm chugging away in the 130s. So I'm low 140s. So I know the fatigue is just muscular. It's just my legs. In terms of the body, I've never had a heart rate this low at this pace. and I'm going to put the final stats of the, of the long run on screen but something miraculous happened and uh, I think to be honest with you it's all down to listening to the body and uh, fueling because it is scorching but check this out when we hit that turnaround point we were 709, 710 average pace or something we're now 657 you probably can't see that, the sun's in the way Anyway, 6.57 average pace, two hours, 13 minutes, 19.25 miles covered, and I'm just feeling on top of the world. Legs are tired, but the body is responding so well, and uh, I've just, dialing it back today has made all the difference. If I'd have gone out there and tried to run my normal pace, it wouldn't have happened, but uh, just by respecting the heat, fueling, where I've needed to, it's meant that I can get the time on feet that I've wanted. I'm gonna get between two hours 20 and two hours 30 today, which is ideal. And I genuinely cannot stress how good I feel. I've been building for this since Cardiff half. I've always had an eye on London. I've been dropping in those hilly long runs. I've been working hard over two hours and that's all come down to today where I start my, finish my first week and I'm running two hour, 20 minute long runs comfortably and legs have taken a turn and they feel a bit better than what they did. So they don't feel great, but they feel, feel relatively strong. So what a way to end it. Delighted with this. Gonna get home now, eat a lot, rest up and we go again Monday. Appreciate you guys tuning in to week one of the London Marathon Training. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give the video a like, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel for weekly running content. And as always, that's it in the next one. Until then.